the time. So those of you who watched yesterday uh, may recall that I ran into some technical troubles. Um, being that this is a test stream about the Goatman Brewer, uh, actually about the Myths and Outcasts DLC, um, I am testing out the Brewer class for uh, that is the signature class of the Goatman, and due to some crashes um, and some bad gameplay on my part, uh, we had some issues. But Today, I'm excited that we have some quality of life improvements um, brought to you by Wall of Justice, brought to me by Wall of Justice. Uh, he integrated some of the feedback and, um, <laughs> and fixed some of the bugs that I had uh, during yesterday's stream. Um, quick turnaround, because he's such a cool dude. Um, and so now we're just gonna hop right to it. And, and how about we just get a game started? How about that? How's that sound? Happy Friday. I'm excited to uh, be with you guys. Uh, so today, I've decided to play a male goat man because um, I found that given the brewer's starting equipment, um, uh, I, I have to fall back on melee and I just need that extra strength. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a male for that reason. Uh, men, uh, males in Barony start with plus one strength and females start with plus one dex. Now, because the brewer is going to be throwing a lot of potions, I, I figured, hey, it's going to be a good idea to start with that extra dex, as they're going to be a competent ranged character later in the game. But uh, given the small amount of potions I had and my de needing uh, to depend on my, um, on my axe, uh, I'm going to try a male today, okay? So let's pick a random name. We got Brand X Cola. That sounds perfect for a guy who likes to brew his own stuff, am I right? Let's do it. Okay, single player game. All right, and just like always, here I am sleeping. Okay, I'm hungry, I got my one piece of bread. Now we've already read the bottle book, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that away. And you can see that we have a few extra potions added to our supply. Um, I'm going to immediately blend this fruit juice, experiment, fruit juice, blindness. And then I'm gonna experiment acid speed. And then I'm gonna experiment uh, ooh, acid blindness. So we have a cure ailment. Uh, we'll keep that in hand. We got thunderstorm, which is gonna be a vicious uh, throne potion that I can attack fools with. And then Ice Storm, which is yet another vicious attack potion. Um, so I've used up my supply, which is to be expected. I'm, I'm, I'm heading into combat, you know. We'll pick this up to start identifying and get that appraise skill working. Just going to pick up a couple of these torches because along the way I'm going to want to pick up more just to um, make the place darker. And so I don't have to... Uh, face enemies head on because let's face it. I'm not very well equipped to do that So immediately who knows who's gonna come through this door. Let's get hiding shall we? All the best, All the best. All right, you think we're gonna do better than yesterday. I sure hope so um, uh Oh, I hear bad news Okay, I heard that boulder. I don't know about you guys. It makes me nervous though Okay, I see a skeleton Oh, I see another skeleton. All right, and now I got hit once in my first encounter, um, which is kind of to be expected. I got a nice uh, sneak attack. Let's wait till this guy stops. And then, uh, now I should have gotten some water from that, but I uh, wasn't thinking. So I just drank it instead. All right, let's see. Is this guy going to stop ever? All right. So that guy didn't have a shield. And as a result, I think that time we were able to take him down in one go. Um, oh, I got a potion out of that. And it's letting me get another potion. And yet another potion. Holy moly. 
Okay, so it looks like my chances at fountains have been dramatically improved, uh, which is great to, because I sure need those, those extra potions it's giving me. I've got a potion of sickness, more fruit juice. We'll go ahead and wear that uh, amulet. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and drink a booze right now. I've been sick for long enough. Ooh, we got more acid. That's exciting. Okay, so um, let's. All right, we, we've got enough supplies for now. I don't need to mix. What's up, Acid Game Streams? Check it out, dude. I've got acid in my inventory. I'm gonna act like that. The whole reason why I have that acid is because you're here. How do you feel about that? I hope I hope you feel very good about that. I sure do. Uh, one of the other things I'm doing today in comparison to yesterday's stream is I got my headphones on. <laughs> uh, I kept getting snuck up on and I think part of the reason why is because um, I had my headphones off and I didn't want to disturb the stream with, um, you know, noise echo. And so my game sound is real quiet. Pretty good, good. Good to hear acid game streams. I take it you like to stream games yourself. You ever stream Barony? It's this hot game that I hear everyone loves. Oh, dude, you work on the Barony Wiki page. That's super cool. Um, yeah, man, I, I that thing's been up since before the Cursed Edition, and um, it's been making a lot of progress. Uh, I I just want you to know that uh, devs like me really appreciate what you do for the game and the community that revolves around it. So thank you. Um, I'm happy you're here. Uh, if you have any questions, I, hopefully I could answer them, um, you know, in case it might help you uh, with the wiki at all. Let's get out of this guy's way. Maybe he won't see us around the corner. All right, he saw us, and he got me twice. What a bummer. Let's eat this old fish. Throw away this strangulation. Look at all this acid, blindness. What happens if I mix blind and sickness? Experiment. Uh, blindness. Sickness. Upgrades. I hear a skeleton. Okay, we just got another potion of sickness, but that's alright. Why don't we wield this? So I threw a damaging potion, and it did what I hoped it would do, and that is hurt the bad guy. You know, I should start throwing sickness potions more op often. I love the game and have gotten tons of people to play. That's awesome, dude. I hope the company's doing well. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I, I feel good speaking on behalf of the team and saying that we're doing well. Um, I don't know if you know this. Maybe you do already. But uh, everyone who works with Turning Wheel um, is doing is doing our work in our, kind of in our, you might describe it as our hobby time. It's a, all of our work is a labor of love and one day it'd be awesome if, um, if you know the sales from our games could support us all to work full time. But in the meantime, I speak for myself when I say I'm satisfied, I find it very satisfying to work on games that I love in my spare time. It's, um, I do love playing games as well. Um, but you know what? I'm just I'm built to work. I'm built to create, and uh, so having the opportunity to work with a bunch of cool guys making games that, frankly, nothing like them exists is uh, a treat. Um, so it's very satisfying. We got a lot of cursed garbage, huh? Let's get rid of that. Potion of acid, fruit juice, ice storm. Oh oh oh! I hear you. Ha ha! All right. Slayed a fool. We're already doing better than we were yesterday. Oh, a boulder killed Parachute? Or killed, um... Uh, Funny Bones. That's as lucky as I've ever gotten as this class. Holy moly. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop his Cloak of Protection because there's no way that's gonna be better than the backpack I have in the long run. I really need that, um... That backpack to store all this extra potion-making equipment. But, um, but anyway, I'm, I'm feeling very lucky right now to have Parachute, and I didn't have to fight for it. Yowza! As all the hip kids are saying, Yowza! We got an untriggered boulder there. We're going to ignore it. 
And I see one big room off in the corner uh, that I haven't touched yet. Hopefully you can make enough off Barony 1 to grow the engine and expand the world for Barony 2. Well, I'll tell you what, the engine for our next games is much more powerful than the Barony engine. We've already got some awesome features like, you know, um, split screen and support for skin polygonal 3D models for characters so we can do real artist-driven animation. Um, really, um, really encouraging how it's coming together. But building a game takes a long time, and um, it's our pleasure to continue to support Barony. And because it's already a fully functioning, working game, um, there's just so much that we can do without, uh, you know, it, it takes a lot less time to make whip something up in Barony than it would make a whole new game. And so we do a little, little here, little column A, little column B. Since I've got some blessed booth, let's go ahead and get rid of this trash. All right. Well, so, okay. So I'd say look into putting Barony on the Epic Store and on consoles. So there are some things about Barony's architecture that make porting it difficult. Um, uh, we are keeping our eye on the Epic Store. Um, but there are, there are other parts of the architecture that would be, specifically the multiplayer architecture, that would be difficult to port. To consoles given how every console is a unique snowflake and how it likes to interface with a multiplayer uh, system so um, there are some things like I mentioned split screen where do you have working on our next engine it's just gonna be way easier now I've heard that I can convince this guy to drink with me and now he's my friend oh I thought he was gonna be my friend guess not well, that's fine. Everybody's got to die someday, huh, human? See, I tried to throw booze at that guy to make him my friend, but uh, it didn't work. Uh, and now I'm left with no healing. I've got some fruit juice. I'm not quite sure how to turn that fruit juice into something a little more powerful. Let's... Uh-oh. Okay, we got another blue potion out of that. I gotta find an exit before that Minotaur shows up. Oh my. There's a spider. I'm hiding from a spider. Oh, I even assassinated the spider. Lucky me. Okay, you know what? I see the exit. Let's get a couple more kills before we bail out of this level. Um, I can't really afford to lose the experience with my character. Got a helmet. Alright, you know what? I'm ready to bail out of this level. Ner Minotaur's making me nervous. And of course we got another Minotaur. Thanks a lot, pal. I don't need another Alembic. Let's just leave that alone. Oh, and I got some armor. Okay. This is so far a fairly lucky run. Famous last words, am I right? Knock on wood. My PC's broke, so I'm on Xbox now, so I wish I could play Baron on Xbox. Yeah, man, I hear you. You know, um, uh, console support for Barony is one of our early dreams and is one of the reasons why we, um, we gave, um, uh, gave it a go to support, uh, gamepads. And... You may know that you can play Barony on a gamepad, and maybe you don't know. Um, and I think it works well. I've beaten uh, Baron Herx with the gamepad, and um, it's totally adequate. I think the game is, is fun on a gamepad. But when we think about Barony's unique selling points, um, it's hard for us to stomach the idea of releasing it without multiplayer support. And um, anyway, the Epic Store might do better for us there. I guess we'll just have to see. Assassinate a rat, shall we? I didn't assassinate him, but hey, he's dead. You can see I'm uh, using my sneak skill to look through the dark um, rather vigorously. Man. Goat, you hungry, boy. Okay, we found ourselves an exit. I'm feeling much safer now. 
Oh, okay, this is a, um... We got a shop here. Uh, we're not gonna deal with that, are we? Shopkeepers are gonna kill me pronto. Yeah, one of the things particularly that I like about the, sh uh, the Epic Store is that it's a new, a new store. And so, um, and so there's just a lot less junk just flooding it, you know? So it's gonna be easier for a little game like Barony to stand out even though we have zero marketing budget. And I really, I still believe that Barony is the kind of game that if more people knew about it, more people would be playing it. And, um, and exposure is tough as an indie dev, you know? Swimming, strangulation, well we can drop that. Fruit juice, man I keep getting hungry. Um, let's do a little bit of brewing. Oh, nope, let's leave the level. <laughs> Unlike Steam, they take less profits. That's true, and if you make your game using um, their engine, then they take, uh, then they waive the engine fee, which is like, you know, if that's what you're, if that's what you're doing, it's great. Um, unfortunately, that's not what we're, we're not using the Unreal Engine, so we can't take advantage of that part of it, but regardless. Fruit juice and speed, what does that do? I guess I don't recall. Invisibility. Okay. Well, that could come in handy. Experiment with... Um, let's do fruit juice and water just so that we have some extra... Sadly, I just diluted my juice down to nothing. Um, now let's use our uh, acid with sickness. Firestorm. Okay, great. So let's get this booze out of the way. We'll put booze on the end. Cure ailment right next to it. And we'll get the potion of firestorm. So we got thunder, ice storm, thunderstorm, and firestorm right next to each other. That should help me keep track of what I can facilitate at a brewer as a brewer. Alrighty. Okay, I see a rat man, uh, a rat man, a rat over there. Let's go, let's go slay a fool, as the kids say. And slain, assassinated. Brewer, goat, man, assassin. Here to chop you up with an ax. I'm gonna stream some Minecraft. Nice chatting. Oh, yeah, good chatting to you. Have fun on your stream. Um, I hope you enjoy your time with Minecraft. You know, I've played my fair share of Minecraft. Um, <laughs> it's funny. Before uh, before Barony was a thing, I had hoped and wished that modders would figure out a way to really get players that feeling of a dungeon adventure with friends. And very rarely I'd run into these situations where we'd get to, um, ooh, we gotta, here, let's, let's throw a potion at this fool. Um, very rarely we'd run into these situations where like, you know, we'd be working together to deal with a monster spawner or whatever. And, um, and so it, for, for but a moment, it would start to feel just a little bit like a dungeon crawl. Um, but ultimately, it's like clearly the game was never intended to feel like a dungeon crawling RPG, RPG with buddies. And, um, you know, people like to joke about Barony being similar to Minecraft, but ultimately, like, Minecraft is, um, can never replace what Barony is, at least so far as I've seen. Kill the skeleton. Whew. You know what? I'm going to take this towel. I might need it. Let's get some potions out of a fountain. That worked well. Now I'm tempted to go to that shop and use a polymorph portion potion. I have four of them, which is, I believe, one more than other beast classes have. Just thanks to my being a brewer. So, um, a friend of mine... Uh, called out an interesting uh, uh, observation today, and that is that on, I believe it was Saturday Night Live, the comedian named Jim Brewer 
used to play a character called the Goat Man. <laughs> and that is a 100% true story. So uh, whenever you play the Goat Man Brewer, uh, you can think of the hot, hot comedian Jim Brewer, who's totally relevant to today's comedic scene. All right, we got a Jester's hat. That may not be able to hold a candle to our luxurious and beautiful uh, iron helmet that we have up here. You know, so far this playthrough is so much more promising than some of the ones I had yesterday. Oh, we got a plus one Jester hat. You know, it's a lot lighter. I'm gonna go for it, you know? YOLO. I'm sorry I said yellow again, guys. It's happened before, I apologize then, and I mean it twice as much now. Thunderstorm, Cure Element, Polymorph, Clues. <laughs> At some point, I'll have to get a, get a hold of a Force Bolt spell book. Hopefully, that would be nice. Not exactly the world's smartest goat man. Or maybe I am. Maybe goat men are just ultra dumb. You know? That's a real possibility. And I've already uh, started filling up my inventory uh, up to beyond the normal maximum here, so I'm grateful for the... Um, For the backpack that I have on that's letting me get a little more access. Oh, a scroll of food. That was lucky. Okay, a light staff. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just burn that up, shall we? Alright, Goatman's gets hungry. Yes, yes. Oh, door got left open. And now the shopkeeper's after me. Goatmen uh, offer no quarter to humans. All right. I had a hangover. I cured it with the, some of the hair of the dog, or the hair of the goat, as the case may be. Let's just let that boulder do its thing. Uh, Staff of Sleep, you know, I may just go ahead and humor that. It may come in handy, given my propensity for not being the world's mightiest adventurer. Oh, some gloves. That's gloves with two Bs, as opposed to the standard one B in the word gloves. These are the jokes, guys. All right, so thanks to a lucky parachute find, um, I have a feeling this run might be one of the better ones that I'm gonna have. Oh, I didn't mean to deposit my spellbook of slow. That'll come in handy later once I learn some stinking spells. All right. We got a different hat that we don't care about because we already have this delightful Jester's hat. And a bunch of gems. Hmm, I don't think I have what I would need to go and try to run and get a special bow right now. I need more ability to levitate, and right now maybe I could figure out how to brew something to help me levitate, but I just don't think I have enough. Um, but, hungry boy, so hungry. Let's, um, why don't we dilute some of our... Your ailment with water. Did that work? It did. Congratulations, me. Um, let's brew our single bottle of water with this potion of another cure ailment. Ah, well, I just undid all, all, all that work I did. Oh, well. That's okay. We're getting brewer levels, alchemy levels, you know what I mean? 
it's all it's all for the greater good. The great are good. Okay, we made it to the swamps as a brewer, which is like, I only did that once before. Okay, so here's a situation, hmm. I'll be honest, I do want to go shopping, but I'm going to clear the level first, because if those guys end up being great um, vendors. Dude, three cheeses in a row, fulfilling hunger with moldy cheese. I mean, that's expert tier goat work, might I say. Okay. Oh, where's that one coming from? I hear another boulder. Okay. Um, why don't we go ahead and take this goblin out with this thunder potion? Cha -cha! <clears throat> Got him. All right. So I don't know how that how dangerous that goblin was, but he looked very well equipped to me, and I didn't want to take any risks, so. I spent one of my big potions on him. Oh, we got two two acids. Magic resistance, ring, ring of protection. Let's put on the ring of protection for now. But I'll keep the other one around just in case I need it. Golly, will occurs hunger. Back off me, bro. Alright. Well, I am pleased to have this bow, but I think I'll, yeah, I think I'll use it up first. All right, magic step to sleep, cure ailment. What we seriously need is just some more potions to mix with all this water we got. I hear, oh. We've got a ghoul that's p getting picked on by some slams. All right, we did it. Awesome. All right, so we, we got a few potions, that's great news. This mirror's not of any use to me right now. Uh, looks like this breast piece is not useful to me. All right. Some potions of sickness, that's encouraging. Confusion. Hmm. What happens? Let's go ahead and take our limbic, and we'll experiment by mixing confusion with sickness. I think that might give me a healing potion. Nope, just another sickness potion. Boo urns. Um. It's okay. We will buy a deck of cards, my friends, and deal with it. Okay. So what did we get that time? We got another potion. It's unidentified. Let's go ahead and interrupt that. Okay, it looks like it was something that went with one of my other potions, which is great. Um, I'm going to wield this throw it at the next foe I find. Just throwing potions actually will help with my alchemy skill. <laughs> That's me spending all of my, uh, spending all of my empty bottles on water. And actually, why don't I take some risks um, diluting those sickness potions with the water. And that way I can hopefully get some more um, ammo, essentially. So far, this is going really well, actually. I've got uh, six sickness potions now that should be... And what those do is they do a little impact damage, and then they also poison the enemy. 
So if I can keep duplicating them, uh, which so far I have been able to, let's, uh, there's a human over here that's asking to get poison, am I right, guys? Experiment. Let's do another sickness. and we'll do another water. Yeah, man, this is going great. <laughs> Damn, there you go. So we just watched him dive the poison that I threw out him. That's great. That's very satisfying. Ha-cha! Yeah, go die by yourself, alone. A victim of the poison that I treated you with. I think the poison ran out. Ha-cha! All right, that worked. Uh, Ha-cha is something that you can count on a uh, goat man saying. That's, uh, that's canon lore, just FYI. Ooh, a healing spell, that would sure come in handy. be a little dangerous going in here. Am I out of booze? I think I'm out of booze, actually. Let me get rid of that. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to suffer with my drunkenness effect, because I'm out of booze. Um, that's okay. Or actually, uh, you know, undrunkenness effect, however you want to put it. But I got all these potions of sickness that's making me feel kind of safe. Skill up to 47. Might as well do this. Get rid of that sort of ambient threat that could trigger it any second, you know what I mean? I was pretty sure, guys. I was pretty sure. <laughs> oh, we got some more daggers. That's useful. You know, we'll get rid of this lone dagger in favor of this stack of daggers, assuming they're not cursed. Yeah, this aged fish. Oh, of course. Well, that's why I ate it first, you know. If it was bad, I didn't want to end up stuck with it. Well, we can kill a slime any day of the week. For example, today is Friday, and we killed the uh, slime on a Friday. Um, just in case you needed some clarification there. You guys are smart. I don't think you needed it, but... You know. I'm officially out of torches, it looks like. So, I think I should probably grab one. Where are you at, Brother Torch? There you are. You know what? I'm not out of torches. I just didn't see them in my inventory. I wonder I missed him the second time around. All right. So, again, I must say, this run as a brewer is going much better than the last time. I used up all my glass potions, um, and I made sickness potions with them by doubling my, um, with water. And I'm, I wasn't principally against that idea, but I'm a little concerned about it, because now I don't, instead of drinking potions and maybe getting some back, now I have all these potions I'm just going to throw at guys, so, you know, that might not turn out as well. I guess we'll just have to see. So now that I've looted this level, oh, it looks like there's one more room I can loot. I'll do that before I go and hang out with the shopkeepers. Um, oh, it's, it's, uh, I know, we already did that one. Um... Yeah, I want to make sure if those shopkeepers are any good, I want to make sure I have some good loot to trade with them. And that means maxing out as much as I can. I only have four polymorph potions, which basically means I can talk to f shopkeepers in four levels before I, I cap out. Um, oh, 
I'm getting lucky in finding a couple potions just laying around. That might yield some advantages. Let's we'll burn this up real quick. Can I read this? Can I read this? No. I see I have a duplicate spellbook of healing. I'll hang on to that until after we're done at the shop. Okay. Here it goes, guys. Here goes nothing. Now I'm a hungover human. Ooh, jewelry store. That's highly advantageous. Because um, I got all these gems. Um, wow, that's great news. So uh, I'll let these others identify as I continue to shop. And then I'll be making crazy bank. Hopefully, if they ever identify. How many of them are actual real gems, though? Probably not many. And we got a bookstore. Well, that could be handy, too. Opening, destroy armor. Okay, unfortunately, we don't have any level 1 spells. But we got a scroll or two that I can exploit. <sighs> Oh, we do have an empty bottle now. Let's experiment. Let's do... Um, juice and cure... I don't have any juice. Curses! How about sickness and cure ailment? I mean, that's kind of a silly idea, but... You know. It's opposite day. What give me? Ah, oh, just more sickness. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Uh, so I'd like to get this... Well, first off... An Identify could help me right now. An idea. Aged. Aged. Okay, great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sneak over here. I'm gonna get rid of all the gems that I think are fake. Which would be this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And then I'm going to use my identify scroll. Oh, which one's going to be the most valuable? Let's guess the ruby. Wait, what happened to my identify scroll? It went away. Well, that was a waste. It's rather unfortunate. It looked like it got auto-closed somehow. Oh well. I have enough money that's not really a huge deal, but it is disappointing that that happened. Not really sure what occurred there. <sighs> hmm. Oh, but this guy's a book salesman, so I can sell him my extra book of healing. It's all is not lost. And I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm. I think I'd like to take off this breast piece because it's just not a great piece of armor. In fact, why don't we take off this and this, and that way the only armor I'm wearing is my hat and my cape, because I think I'll keep those for the rest of the game. My backpack grows blue. All right, well, I got a plus one backpack now. Hopefully that actually does something. Yay! What's up, dog? Thanks for tuning in. How's it going, Super X? Good to see ya. Just doing a little testing on my Goatman Alchemist Brewer. Um, I've experimented mixing some potions to mixed results. Uh, no pun intended. Wow, that was that was a excellent pun that I didn't mean to make. Um, looks like I don't know my gems well enough to make use of this shopkeeper um, my skin cracks as my polymorph spell begins to dissipate well it'd be a good time to bail out of this shopkeepers hangout get a scroll 
And as we can see up here now, I'm back to my old goatee self. Hey, a cursed scroll of repair. We'll just throw that right in the trash. All right, down another level. Let's make it happen. And we got a Minotaur coming for us. Not ideal. Oh. All right. You know what? I would. I sure would. Who's 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 shooting at me? We're doing we're doing an okay job, guys. We're, we're gonna make it. Okay. Okay. How are these gloves doing? Okay, that's, I don't have any gloves, so I'll take those. It actually looks like this armor. Uh, in theory, it's a little better than what I have on, but it's a lot heavier, so I'm just going to let it go. Let it go. If you love something, you have to let it go, guys. An infallible truth in every circumstance, as we all know. Who is out to get me? I hear combat. Um, look, another fool to slay. Oh, he exploded. Oh, that's exactly what I what I hoped would happen. All right, everything's working out. Everything's coming up Millhouse. All right, Minotaur's gonna be here soon, and I don't want to be here when he gets here. So I'm gonna try to head for the exit. Of course, we got a complicated exit facing us. Um, can't eat that meat. Um, oh, I'm so nervous about this. This could really be bad. Alright, let's, let's do this the hard way. What did I do? I'm gonna throw this, trigger the traps. Okay, okay, okay. Darn it, I'm not strong enough to move the boulder. Ah, uh, that was... Hold on, do I have a staff of digging? Yes, I do. Alright, we made it. We made it through the secret exit. Now, I am a little tempted to collect some rocks, but I have bows, so I don't think I really need them. Um, I just haven't really been using them wisely. Okay. Alright, that's the Minotaur. Let's bail out. And here we are in the uh, jungle temple. Now, we could exit, but I am feeling pretty good about our progress so far. Um, got a couple more potions of sickness that I can use to slay tougher fools like the trolls. We've got goblins sleeping away. Oh, we managed to assassinate one. That's lucky. Oh, no! All right, okay, that could have been real bad. That fire staff is vicious. Um, and in the interest of vicious staffs, let's just use it up right now, am I right? All right, now we burnt out that staff, killed a couple goblins, uh, much less threat. And we only got one goblin left in here. Oh yeah, he's a sitting duck. <laughs> he put on this hat right before he dies. He's got priorities. Okay. I still haven't found any booze in a while, so my poor alcoholic character can't, um, just can't, can't even with the struggles of today's world. Um, that's decrepit. I don't even want it. If I'm gonna, so that, that metal armor is twice the weight of the armor I'm wearing, and if I'm going to double my weight, I better get some serious benefit out of the deal. You know what I mean? Oh, we got a tin. We got some food. Hmm. Okay. So now, some moments of truth. I can give up all my torches and carry a shield instead. I think I may go ahead and do that. These potions of sickness, you know, 
I think I'm going to go ahead and, and do some experimenting. I'm going to mix this water with this sickness potion. Water with sickness potion. And we have one more water. Yeah, tough choices, guys. Well, you can see why having the extra inventory spot uh, with the backpack that the alchemy, the alchem, uh, the uh, excuse me, the brewer starts with, why it's so useful. I have so many potions for different situations. Let's keep let's keep duplicating that those those sickness potions just to free up some inventory. Water, sickness, water, and sickness, experiment, water, sickness. All right. Okay, so even though, you know, we're not making a lot of progress on actually duplicating these things, we are um, practicing our brewing skill. And giving us our, ourselves a chance to level up there, and that's not nothing. I did the math. I talked to some friends. They said it's not nothing. Finally, we can all agree on something. Oh, we got a locked door, eh? This staff of locking will show you. I don't need a staff of locking, so I'm just going to burn this up, get some magic skill. How's my magic skill looking anyway? Eight casting, seven magic. I don't think that's enough to land those spells yet. Slow, oh we have a book of levitation of all things. Destroy armor, won't need that. Yeah, so for those tuning in, you may not know that you can just burn out these staffs to get some free skill points, um, which I'm happy to exploit. Well, since that way is locked. I could use my open staff, but I have um, some other options. And one of them is going through this maze of boulders. Um, as long as I stay off the pressure plates, I should be okay. Um, of course, if I get hit by two boulders, I am absolutely obliterated. So we'll just avoid that. Alright, look at that. Let me reach another treasure room blocking these arrows. A lockpick, that's funny. I find it funny. As a goat man, we will never need a tin opener. I don't, I certainly don't need a lantern. Look at all those scrolls, holy mackerel. All right, now call me a pessimist. I don't think I'm ever gonna learn the levitate spell. It's very advanced. Um, I think I'm only gonna carry one bow. Okay, let's do another little brew experiment here. Experiment, let's mix this lonely potion of acid with this potion of invisibility. Oh my. Well, that's not ideal. I'm on fire. Holy crap. All right, acid plus invisibility uh, explodes me. Um, that's a lesson learned, I guess. Holy crap, I almost died. I was very close to death. Um, but, you know, I, I learned something. Don't mix those, you know? That's a, that's a lesson we could all, all benefit from. Spell the fire. I've had enough of that for one day. And for our trouble, we got another backpack enchantment. No complaint out of me. So, let's get ready to throw some sickness potions at this... Um, troll here. I can hear him. He's still taking acid damage or poison damage. We'll sneak off to grab this green orb. Let's 
Let's sneak off through here, shall we? I really don't have the health to take that guy on. It'd be a shame to die to this now. Yikes. I think the trolls are fighting each other back there. I hear some fighting going on. Let's wait for him to face the other way. Maybe we can clutch an assassination off this fool. All right, not quite an assassination, but close enough. Am I right? All right, we're just going to kite this guy. I can earn a lot of experience points in here if I don't die. Um... Little known fact, if you die, you don't have any experience points anymore because you're dead. Alright, that went okay. Okay, let's get back through here. Maybe we can open this door with our lockpick. Oh, we got another treasure room. Let's do that first. These are the, the benefits of the jungle temple. Secret treasure everywhere. To use this lockpick we just found. Are we even going to skill up in lockpicking a little? There we go, we got some. That's something. And another, that's good. And again, another, great. We didn't unlock the door with the lockpick, but we gained some experience points trying, and that's, you know, that's as much as I care to ask for. Let's make sure we don't have any trolls hiding out back here, because they might sneak up on me. It wouldn't be the first time I got snuck up on by a troll in the middle of a playthrough that was otherwise going well. Anybody who was watching yesterday may recall. Oh! <laughs> Looks like the trolls found the boulder room. Let's go ahead and eat. Oh, this guy, he got in a fight, and I'm, I'm his last uh, battle, looks like. And it looks like one of these trolls dropped a ring as he got killed. Alright, we have another dead troll in the corner there. Alright, I think we've uh, <laughs> done as much damage as I care to do here. We have a ring of strength. Not going to be terribly useful for us. Um, but I have the inventory space. I'm going to hang on to it for now. Let's... Uh, Enchant some armor. And we got a Minotaur level. That's okay. Oh! What? I must have got hit by a sneaky... Oh, there he is, that jerk. <laughs> Coming out of the corner there. With his fire staff. I didn't see him. Oh, well. And so ends the adventure of Brandex Cola. Um, well, that was fun. You know, I think, hmm, of all the things I could do right now, uh, that was a good run. I feel like I can certainly get a hang of that class, but we have some other options. I could, I could play a goat man or woman as another class, and I think I'd like to try that, because I haven't done it yet. So we can make him really any class we want. Be a healer, a rogue, a monk. A monk might be fun just because, you know, he punches the snot out of some stuff. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm up for a short run. Maybe the ninja will provide that for me. We'll call him Rattlesnake. Thanks, random name generator. Rattlesnake, perfect name. And as you can see... Uh, as a Goatman Ninja, um, here, let's take off this silly hat, and you can see my handsome ninja face. Um, as a Goatman Ninja, I still start with a bottle of booze, <laughs> but I'm no longer, I'm not a brewer this time, and so I really have no advantage about um, uh being able to make my own booze or anything like that. So I'm just going to have to get lucky. 
I've got my classic ninja tools. I'm, you can see how much faster I am because I'm a ninja. I kind of like the idea of being a goat man ninja because he, he starts with the crystal katana. And uh, given that the you first see the goat men in the um, crystal caves, it kind of lines up, even though they certainly don't use the crystal katana. This is a this is a pariah goat man who was rejected from his tribe, and now he strikes out on his own. He don't he don't take orders from nobody. Oh, dude, he can kill rats whenever he wants. A true renegade. All right, we got some food. That's exactly what we needed. Yeah, starting it as a goat man, it's it's, uh, it's got its trade-offs, don't it? All right, I hear some a spider trap. I'm gonna go find that spider trap so they cease their insufferable um, clicking sounds. No. Well, that didn't go well at all. Hmm. I should have looked at my unarmed skill. I think the Goatman's not great at it. I was trying to avoid using my katana because it's so low durability. Um, but I really enjoyed the concept of this character, so let's give him another go, shall we? <laughs> Alright. Goatman's got to wake up every time. He's just a drunkard. Let's drink that booze and get on our merry way. So we had a trade-off to think about with this uh, with this drunkard effect. We could either make it so uh, the brewer is always a drunk, or the goat man is. Oh, of course, my katana breaks on my first kill. Um, or the or the goat man is so either the brewer is always a drunk or the goat man is always a drunk, and. We decided to make it so that the goat man was always the drunk um, because that meant that you could play any class as a drunk. And, uh, and since being a drunk isn't exactly a class-specific problem to deal with, it can make any class a little bit more fun to play as, was the, our thinking. So um, we're seeing that right now with a drunken ninja. I should be a drunken monk, and that's kind of amusing for me personally. Okay, good news is I found another sword. Um, it might be cursed, but at this point, I think that's better than having no weapon at all. Um, well, thank goodness it's not cursed. Okay, okay. Me and the captain are making it happen. That's a hot a 90s serial commercial reference. It's, I'm sure it's hip with all you kids these days. Oops, I didn't mean to throw that knife. It's okay, everything is fine. So we got... All right, we got our... Being a ninja has its perks, that's for darn sure. Starting with those five throwing knives is pretty... Oop, let's uh, get out of his way. Yeah, even though swords aren't really great versus skeletons, the ninja is so skilled with them um, that it's a pretty good idea to use them anyway. Oh, I got cursed fruit juice. So uh, that's especially funny because um, in the world of barony, uh, cursed juice is alcohol, uh, and so if you know, it's it's not as good as well as well crafted booze. It uh, doesn't heal you the same way good booze does in this game. But um, it does cure your hangover. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that cursed juice around. Um, because after all, it will give me an advantage. Okay, I had to eat that food because I was starving to death. Being that I'm a ninja and a goat man, I didn't start with any food at all. And uh, being a goat man me meant I was immediately hungry. Uh, definitely a, a quirk of the, of the, of the, of the, um, of the race. You have to deal with that problem pronto, whereas other classes don't have to deal with hunger for at least 15 minutes before they start starving to death. I think I saw this guy go in here. Okay, okay. We're running across some... I picked up a ton of swords right now because I don't know how soon these ones are going to break. But I got this iron sword, which means if it's not cursed, I may be able to take advantage of it very quickly. 
Man, my appraisal skill sucks. Nope, that's not an open... <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of a big old dummy as a goat ninja. We got a bear trap. Paralysis, invisibility. Let's wear this hat. Um... Oh, and luckily... Oh, man, I got that tin. That's going to come in very handy. My poor goat man self. At least he can eat tin cans. Hopefully I can find something to open that chest. I sure would like it. Be able to get some loot. Okay, I gained a level thanks to gaining experience after appraising items. Um, it's kind of an advantage. What do we find? Ooh, more potions. Get rid of a cursed sword. Who needs it? Oh, and we got some bread, some floor bread. Eat your heart out, floor chicken. Wall chicken. I hear another spider trap. Get another cursed. Cursed bread's not going to do him any good. You know, I pick up the blindfolds because very rarely they're, um, they have unique properties that make them worth wearing. Uh, they, they're pretty easy to identify, so I figure why not. Okay. This exploration has not proved terribly fruitful. I found most of the good stuff early on. Get rid of cursed amulets. We'll have no need for that. I don't even know what kind of amulet that was. I was just like, nope. Curse amulet, it's not on my watch. Being a ninja, I don't, I don't got time to wait around. <laughs> so, some of you guys know that I moved to Tennessee um, a few months ago, and everyone here has been so nice. Um, you know, I like my home, or uh, I lived in Seattle for 30 years in the Seattle area, and I like it in Seattle, but. Um, it was just remarkable to me how real of a thing that uh, Southern hospitality was. And the only person who, only stranger I ever met who was rude to me here was uh, I went out to lunch and the, um, and the fast food place we went had a, like a, a compacting, an automatically compacting um, trash uh, receptacle. And oh, a cursed ring of warning. Let me get rid of that. Um, and so, you know, a few people would get to put their trash in, and then it would wait a minute, and so the line would have to wait. And this <laughs> this woman doesn't make eye contact with anyone in line. She just jumps out in front of us all and goes, I ain't got time to wait. <laughs> and, <laughs> and just, you know, her, her trash first, guys. So... Um, they're just so funny. It's so uh, different from my uh, interactions with everybody else here in Tennessee that it was, um, I just, I don't think I'll ever forget that. That she didn't have time to wait. Man, I'm too dumb to learn light. Well, I've got Cursed Force Bolt. Mm, I might be able to uncurse that eventually. It might be worth it to keep it around. Ring of Adornment, I doubt that'll be useful. I want to keep these swords just in case. Of course, I'm hungry, which means my only real option is to eat this tin, and that means I can't hold my weapon anymore. <laughs> darn it! Gosh darn this game! <laughs> oh, alright, 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 alright. Can we make it out of here alive? Can we do it? I still have bear traps and punching. Alright? That'll be enough, right? Let's put this here. Yeah, I can't even wield my, um, uh, you see me, look at me. So I dropped my bear traps. All right, using my bear traps wisely, I was able to make it out of that just using my fists. Not to brag, but it really worked out. Um, 
because I got greasy hands. So those of you that don't know, when you eat a tin, even if you're a, uh, even if you're a mighty goat, uh, eating a tin exposes you uh, to the grease left by tins. Oh darn it, he dodged my trap. Okay, he got that one. And you can see that yellow bar means he's got the uh, paralyzed status on. That's what the uh, trap does. Oh jeez, I did not, almost didn't make it out of that one. Anyway, I guess I'd rather have greasy hands and not have a weapon than, um, than be dead of starvation, which that, uh, that is exactly what the tin helped me to avoid, even though it made my hands all greasy. Oh man, I'm just getting, getting by, by the skin of my teeth here. One day, um, one day, hey, okay, my, looks like the grease wore off. <sighs> but now I'm hungover. <laughs> it's, man, if it's not one thing, it's another. Curse you, barony! Okay, why don't we drink this cursed juice? I got my hangover cure. Um, I got a sword, so I'm just chopping fools down as a ninja. I'm quite mighty indeed. Oh, you know what? I have got empty bottles. See that? So you may notice I'm not a brewer, but I can still fill a bottle. Pacha! Killed the rat. Got some stealth skill. Um, so anyway, I, I guess I'm saying is I can take advantage of those brewer mechanics, even though I'm not a brewer, um, which is one of the ways we can feel good justifying adding a whole new skill set to the game. Is that it's not just for that class. It's for really everybody who plays Barony can enjoy those new additions in theory. Oh, well, we're going to have to step away for a second. Man, it's time to slay some fools. You know what I mean? All right, dumb dumb. We're going to just try to get the sneak up on these fools. Or throw some knives at him. Heck yes. We do what works, you know? We do what it takes to survive. I got all my knives back. I'm feeling good. I still gotta get, find some more food, man. This goat, he's a hungry fool. Which, you know, doesn't feel wrong. Goats are uh, sort of n known for their ridiculous appetites. Oh, and I'm still too dumb to learn Force Bolt. Ah, ah. <laughs> Darn boulders. Uh, luckily, I made it out of that one okay. Get rid of that. Let's look at locking. Oof. Okay, we got a shield. Why don't we... Let me put these shields down in our slot. I'll use this one first, and when it breaks, I'll put the other one down. We got a scroll of uh, potion of healing. That could come in very handy. Sickness, invisibility, polymorph, paralysis. All right, we got two moldy cheeses, which we will only eat under the most dire circumstances, as they will probably make us puke our guts out. All right, exploring, exploring. We got a pit. Um, I remember the first time I played Barony, I didn't know if going down a pit would kill me. Uh, hmm. We got decrepit bear traps. We got them. Okay, so our bear traps are starting to wear out now uh, because I really had to depend on them a minute ago. Um... You guys remember. It was a good time. We were there together. It was fun. I'm not hungry enough to warrant eating cheese yet, but I will wait until that is necessary. You can see in the top left of my map, there's an area I can't really get to. I'm just going to leave well enough alone. Um, 
Okay, we don't need this cursed book of locking anymore. We don't need... Damn, we're just getting real lucky with our book drops. We're just too dumb to take advantage of them. Stupid dumb idiot ninjas. Alright, let's move on. I hear squeaking. Somebody came through this door and it weren't me. Ooh, is he facing the other way? Alright, we got him. We're gonna trade torches for shields whenever we need to on my three and four keys here. I feel weak. Alright, it's time to eat cheese. Blech, rotten food. Okay, well, we gave it a shot. Now we're still in the rush for food, guys. Scroll of fire is useless. Okay, more moldy cheese. Might come in handy. I like to think that these rats are carrying around their cheese in their mouths. Alright, we get another kill on a rat. Not technically a stealth kill, but... Oh, this guy's scared of us. He must be low health. He must have fought it out with some skeletons or something. Oh my gosh, a tin. Oh, boots of speed versus iron boots. Um, I'm enjoying my speed right now, so I'm going to keep them. We got a book of locking and another book of locking. Oh, let's kill that rat. Let's follow him, see where he's going. You know, it could, it could, it could be on a journey. Not exactly a magical journey, but you know, we killed a fool, so that's something. I doing okay so I got another worn sword I don't think I'm ever gonna need these uh, bronze swords so I'm just gonna leave them be all right we dealt with that find all sorts of spell books got a burnt out torch Finding a lot of gems. The chances of any of them being useful are pr it's pretty low. I filled up my uh, my empty bottle with some water there. Now I'm wandering around in the dark because I'm out of torches and my inventory's full. Oh my gosh, I was able to learn light and I was able to learn force bolt. Um, all right, so that's good news. I'm gonna put these on my spell bar here. I think I'm gonna use light so I can wander around with my shield out. I don't need to find a torch, so that's good, right? remind you that that is a human and that's why we hate them. Uh, humans are not our friends in this great world. Slain. Regular iron boots, not really interested. I don't know how many armor on, so I'll gladly take that. Ooh, a ring of warning, that'll come in handy. Let's go ahead and leave these other rings. I think we'll be fine without them. Don't need the Spellbook of Light. We already got that under control. Don't need our nice black ninja tunic anymore, sadly. As cool as it made us look. I've got some teleportation scrolls, so I'll leave this ring. It's rare that you actually need teleportation for anything practical. All right, we managed to trade blows with that skeleton to our advantage. Yeah, now that, I oh, and we found a tin can. And a towel, so if we run into trouble with the, um... 
we run into trouble with uh, with Greece again, we'll have a towel to solve that problem. Don't forget to bring a towel. All right, looking at the map, I see that we have the exit identified, so I'll just make my way there. I think we've explored well enough. Slightly H10, pushing a sickness. You know, I would like to find an Alembic and maybe try to do some brewing as a ninja. That could be fun. But so far, I'll just have to settle for being a Goatman Ninja. Peep. Got a level. Not going to complain about that. Die, human. Okay, I'm, I'm, um, I'm hungover again. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to solve that problem. Right now, I have no booze. All right, all right, we get it. You're not a fan. All right, and we used up that bear trap, which is just fine. That's what they're for. All right, who's going to be waiting for us here? A sleepy troll boy. Let's see about casting some force bolts at him. No, I'm not much of a caster right now. But I'm finding meat. So I'm not going to complain. Yes, assassinated the troll. Assassinating is what ninjas do best. use up. Oh, we got a human. We're never going to be friends, human, just so you know. Let's just check this. I saw a human. The human saw me. Let's follow her. All right. We slayed the poor human, but do not pity her, for she would have slayed us just as quickly. Oh, we got some bear traps, do we? Got a book we don't need. Got another book we don't need. It's like story of my life. Bunches of books I don't need. Okay, we ate a bunch of stuff. Ah, all right. And then that set us up to carry some more junk. All right, and we still have no way to get that treasure chest. Don't need that. We got two tins. You know what, guys? For the, for, for the first time in this playthrough, I'm feeling pretty comfortable that we've got um, uh, food settled. We got it on lockdown. Who's in there? A Skeliotron? Let's go, buddy. All right. Dead Skeliotron. I don't think I'll need that tomahawk. We got a troll at the end of this here. All right, took care of that troll. Do you know what this book is? That mirror is not useful. We got two books of magic mapping, and we only need one, assuming we ever need any. Got some gauntlets. First gauntlets we found. That's good. I don't think I need this book about the adventurer who went to hell. Uh, we got a crappy sword. We'll just throw that right in the trash. Lots of unexplored stuff over here, but nothing particularly interesting. 
think these gloves will be useful, but I'll pick them up anyway. I heard a boulder. Let's just run away from it, you know. Why bother? Oh, and another handsome troll boy. Alright, we got him a good backstab. Turn around again, I dare you. And he's assassinated. Trolls are almost blind in the world of Barony. Which is why they live in dungeons. Poison resistance. I already have the poison resistance amulets. We'll throw away the extra. Plus one leather gloves compared to our three armor steel gauntlets. You know, they weigh half as much, but looking at my armor, I'm not looking to reduce my armor, so we'll go ahead and throw those right in the trash. All right. I see a few of you have been sticking around. I appreciate your attention. Um, yes, I am still alive, Mr. Herx. Johnny Herx, if that is your real name. <laughs> so I drank this water and it like just gave me a bottle and I was like, oh yeah, that's what that's what that's what it does now. <laughs> let's eat a tin, shall we? And let's use a towel, shall we? You can see my handsome gloved hands. All right. I still don't have enough booze. Just the story of the goat man, just constantly looking for booze. That's one of the things I really like about how this turned out is it like just it gives them this this very alcoholic dynamic that he's just like can't do without it. He's always on the lookout for more booze. It's kind of funny. I think it's funny. Okay. So we're gonna take these two things. All right, guys. We made it to the swamps as an assassin goat man. You know, I thought I would get myself killed pronto as the assassin goat man, but, um, or sorry, this, the ninja goat man. But uh, it's actually been serving us rather well. You know, I forget how powerful his melee is. He is, um, of all the classes, he is the most specialized in melee, um, and his only other real skill is stealth. And um, it's just, if you play him as he's, you know, if you play to his strengths, it's just, you can expect to get pretty good results. So we can assassinate this ghoul, that would be nice. Turn around, fool. He's a fool ghoul. Pacha! Got him! Oh. Strangulation. We'll go ahead and leave that. Blessed male. Must be written by a priest or something. Hey! Alright. We've blessed our equipment. That's nice. What did it bless exactly? Maybe my shield? Must be what it blessed. Can't see anything else. I got all these bar bear traps. I'm not complaining, but I'm not sure if I need them. You know, I'm not a brewer, so maybe I should just not keep all these potions around. Oh, booze. Heck yeah, bro. Now we're in business. Poor drunken goat man just can't handle life without his booze. You know, on one hand, he brought it on himself. On the other hand, you know, addiction is a disease, and I feel sorry for him. It's difficult to overcome. We got a spider here that wants to play it off like he can hang out in a room by himself as long as he likes. Well, I got news for you, spider. Nobody hangs out by themselves in peace on my watch. making our way through now we got shopkeepers again anytime I want I run across one of these two shopkeeper hangouts I'm tempted to go and talk with them using my polymorph potion and this occasion is no different so let's do it 
what is holding us back? Nothing you say? That's what I thought you said. Uh, is there anything I can get rid of? Let's just drink our polymorph potion and, and make it happen, shall we? Potion shop. Well, why don't you take this, I don't know, confusion potion, some invisibility, I don't think I'll use that. Paralysis, I think I've grown past that. And like, you know, water. Who even drinks water anymore? I'm all about that Kool-Aid. I don't know what that means, but I said it. That gave me a green potion, so it's something else I can sell to this fool. It's sickness, we'll sell him that too. We'll keep our healing potion and our restore magic and polymorph potions. Those will remain handy as the adventure continues. Hardware store. This guy um, may have something I need. Oh, an Alembic. <laughs> Just in time for me to sell all of my potion making stuff. He has an Alembic. Hmm. Well, he's got chakra. He's got glasses. Couldn't hurt to wear some glasses. He's got a key, which means I'll never need lock picking again. <sighs> well, because this is a test run, let's go ahead and take that Olympic. Of course, all my stuff's full and I don't have any bottles anymore, but, you know, maybe, maybe we'll find a use for it. A rack. I don't think I need a rack. So the potion guy. Um, he's carrying a bottle. I guess I don't need these scrolls of teleportation. So, but I can't really buy all those acid potions. Let's just buy a couple potions of booze. <laughs> I mean, we know we're gonna need that, don't we? And we close the doors behind us so we don't have to worry about getting stabbed in the butt by some shopkeepers. Stabbed in the butt! You know what? I hear a ruckus! Hark! A ruckus! Okay, this goblin's done slayed himself. As if you guys can't tell, I'm a little bit nerve-wracked. So much stuff. Spellbook of magic mapping, locking. You know, I'm keeping this locking scroll around, spell around just because eventually it'll let me learn a little bit of magic, but I just don't think that's worth it. Scroll of light, definitely not worth keeping around. When my inventory is in such high demand. We have an iron mace, a decrepit torch. See my polymorph spell. This work is still functioning. We got a little trap of zombo going on here. Staff of digging and and a pickaxe. All right. I'm trying to multitask here and it's not just, it's really just not working that great. Okay. So this weighs, okay, they both weigh 30. The question is, am I gonna get more use out of the pickaxe or the I think I'm gonna get more use out of the pickaxe, so as a result, I'm gonna just 
blast through these walls because I can have the chance at leveling some stuff up. That worked. There's another goblin in there. Let's get him. Sword fight against the bow guy. Pretty simple stuff. Super simple stuff, guys. Super simple stuff. You know, I've been lugging this black cloak around for absolutely no reason. Alright, this shopkeeper is not a pal of mine. Um, because my polymorph has worn off. Alright, I've got a little more room in my inventory now. It's heartening. Alright. We made it. Let's just exploit his weakness here. Here, eat a spell. Dead. You know, I have an idea. I locked the door and I'm gonna use this lock pick that I just picked up to try unlocking it just to practice some lock picking and gain XP's. You know, that's how we do it in real life. Uh, if you really want to learn how to lock pick, you get yourself a, a lock you can practice on. And given that Barony has a sort of a time limit with the food, we consider that kind of behavior like totally legitimate. It's just a matter of do you feel like you can spare the time. Ring of Magic Resist. And here I am full on things again. I'm not going to drink booze just yet, even though I'm hungover already, because I just don't think it's going to... I don't think I'm going to have any more things more to fight on this floor. <sighs> Am I ever going to get good enough to learn magic mapping? Let's just assume that's not going to happen, and we move on. These are trash gems. We we'll just leave those. I'm fairly certain. And then there's a, a decoy treasure room over here. So we're not going to fall for that the shenanigans. We're going to use. Hmm. I don't have a way to open that, actually. Spell of Healing, can't learn that yet. So, I could trigger the traps and then break the, a boulder with... Let's do it. Okay, so what we did there is that we unleashed three boulder traps, but we can still claim this treasure. Ah, uh, here, after I've bought an Alembic, we have some... Olympic given freely. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up because it's of higher quality and if it's blessed that could actually work out really well for me. Okay, well, either way it's a better Olympic than the one I have, so I'll keep it. I don't know about you guys, but Olympic sounds kinda like a like an anatomy term. You know what I mean? You'd be wise to abandon this place soon, mortal. <coughs> slaying a fool, slaying a fool. Come on, everybody, it's slaying a fool. The Minotaur is coming. <laughs> Gotta move quick. Okay. 
getting to the point where I've been so full on inventory for so long, I'm starting to realize I need to be less precious at a, about a few things. Like these two worn trap. You know, I have I still have two traps left. I don't need a I don't need three inventory spaces filled with traps. It's really slowing my whole all my progress down to be worrying about my one or two inventory spaces constantly. Not ideal. I could go to the, the jungle temple again, but you guys have already seen that this run and I don't want to bore you. Um, maybe at this point. No, I still do need the deck, so I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm keeping that magic reflection. I'm keep that extra sword. Because I really do depend on my sword. <clears throat> Let's do this identify on this gem. Oh, great. Worth this class. Slade. Caught him by surprise. Alright, we got all the kills on this level. I'm comfortable moving on. We need to eat. Okay, we ate it. We've got no Minotaur to worry about. We got greasy hands again, but ended up not being a problem because we still have that towel. Handy dandy towel. Sneak around back of this fool. Oh. Got some stealth attack. Killed the slime. Okay, now we have the other secret entrance and I'll be happy to use that. Found a ring. Okay, I'm gonna spend because it's not a minotaur level. I'm gonna spend a minute experimenting. Let's do. Uh, water with paralysis. And we got more water. That's fine. Oh, we already used that one up. I don't think I need a second towel. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be using the paralysis. I went ahead and, and um, spent my, uh, I, I uh, did a brew on it. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. I have a ring of regeneration. That should come in handy. I don't need it right now, though. We'll go ahead and drop that. We don't need to get strangled today. Fruit juice. If I run into a sickness, then that means I can, excuse me, I can make some more booze. So I'll hang on to that. Oh, look at that. Plus two bottle of fruit juice. Acid. <coughs> excuse me. Blindness. So, if we do... Fruit juice and blindness. I believe that gives us strength. Um, fruit juice, blindness. Pretty sure. Wrong. Cure ailment. Well, that's not the same thing at all. Um, um, we're out of bottles now. So let's go ahead and just drink do that again. You drink. Well, things I ex wanted to happen didn't exactly happen, but it's all right. We're still a leg up, I think. I'm still too dumb to learn these spells. Hmm. Potion of Confusion. Let's do that. We'll experiment by mixing 
confusion with this acid, which should make a healing potion, I think. Because as bottle books say, confuse potion, confuse even the bruise. And turn it backwards. Oh, turn it into fruit juice. That makes sense also. Fruit juice and cure ailment. Let's try that. Fruit juice, cure ailment. Alchemy's to nine now. Praise. That gave us um, a uh, restore magic. So why don't we start burning some magic here? Because we can. I'm all wandering around in this slobbering drunk state, having a real difficult time picking things up. Which is kind of funny. Let's come back here later once we've killed some of the remaining fools. Here we have a human. Got them unaware, that was good. Don't need another Olympic swimming. Let's check out your cave. How's my intelligence doing? Six? Cloak of Magic Reflection, we'll take it. Quite the adventuresome goat. Adventuresome. Well, act like that's a real word for the moment. But if you say it, I'm going to call you out for saying a fake word, just FYI. Oh, we got another... Let's hide from the shopkeeper, shall we? Um, Alright, so we found another bottle. I don't think I'm going to do acid plus water. That sounds dangerous. Let's try to duplicate our healing potion. It's risky, but water plus healing. Nope, sadly that did not serve us. Oh well. You know. I'm all worried about that shopkeeper seeing me. moldy cream pie. We can leave that. Okay, this is where I want to come back to because I had this tin can. And you know us goats, we don't leave a tin can behind. Spellbook of Healing. I already have one of those. But this one's worth less. So we'll throw that away. Linear Regeneration. Magic Reflection. Huh. All right, well, I can afford to pick up this tin can now, and that's fine. That'll do. All right, now let's go to the secret entrance, shall we? Things get out of hand. Okay, I thank goodness I was able to unlock that. Um, okay, so... Ooh, that was good. Three of them ran over this way, so uh, left me a clear path to the exit here. Very lucky. Alright, so now we're going to have a bit of a moment of truth, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, it's going to get tricky. This is going to be a time where I, I drink my booze. We'll come back to this fountain later. We don't need to deal with it immediately. Or this inventory, for that matter. trigger these ghouls to come after me. Things get ugly. How's my shield doing? It's worn. It might last me. Alright, here's the ghouls. Hey, it didn't last me. Um, let's 
set some traps. Just gotta drop the trap. working. This trapping method is something I haven't really tried before, but it's, I'm having fun with it. It's working. Let's throw out this shield. Oh, my hat broke. I wasn't expecting that. It's cool. I look, I look better without a hat anyway. Uh, oh, we already have our knives on that. Okay. We got Coral Grimes. Coral! Alright. We got the meat we needed. Coral dropped us a diamond or a ruby, I think. Alright, now let's go clean up some other enslaved ghouls. I'm all worried about these guys. a knife. Thanks to a cunning ghoul dodge. Alright, alright. This is going well. Yeah, did I lose that knife for good? Yep, careened right off the edge down there. Oh well. Let's lay another trap. I said I was gonna drink my booze, didn't I? Got him. All right. We have any more ghouls about this way? Oh, minus two scroll to summon. That's dangerous. That'll probably call uh, a Minotaur on me, I think, is what it does. Not exactly what I'm looking to do. This is, uh, this is going okay. I think I'm gonna, um, if things continue to go well, I think I'm gonna play until I get to the labyrinth and then call it. Um, I wasn't sure how long I was intending to play. Oh, we got another coral. Coral, no! Especially since my goal was really to test out the brewer. Um, I'm glad to have done some more testing on the goat man because it just shows how fun he can be as a different class. It does He does have some legitimately different playstyle choices to make. I really like that about him. Uh, just thanks to his tin can eating and uh, he has a special ability to find uh, potions in fountains and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Just a regular ghoul. We can take care of that pretty easy. We got ourselves a bunch of holy water. We got a bunch of garnets from coral. I think that's what's happening here. We can get rid of this decrepit sword now. Oh my! 
Too many ghouls. Got a coral. Alright. We made it work. Oh, I heard one of those go those guys go in here. Let's check them out. What you doing here, brother? We never checked all this stuff. That's a lot of gems. Can't afford all the inventory space for gems. Ah, ah, and my sword breaks. I thought I dropped my decrepit sword. Maybe I did. Well, um, got the magic boots. Looking pretty swank. My look at my swank goatman hero. in that cave. Man, maybe I should pick up all these rocks. Um, and I'll just start throwing things as my primary, atta primary attack because I, I'm just amazed that that sword broke so quickly. Maybe I dropped the wrong sword. I'll have to go back and check. I thought I dropped the worthless glass one. Picked up some um, some water. Yeah, throwing rocks works out. Restore magic. Let's try doing some more mixing. Uh, we'll use this water to duplicate this restore magic. We got blessed water. Um, either way. Plus two amulet of magical reflection. As I live and breathe. Let's go ahead and use that. Okay, is this the sword? No. Nope. Just both of my swords decided to crap out on me. Well, I guess this will be better than nothing for now. I certainly don't need glasses on my hotbar. All right. I got one humble viewer that's sticking with me. Thanks for sticking around. Good to see you. All right. <clears throat> got all these garnets. It's going to come in handy. Um Potion of Levitation. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to duplicate this booze with the water. Because I'm going to need more booze. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> <clears throat> Might as well do the same thing with Restore Magic. Uh, actually, let's do it with Levitate. Man, I am just not having great luck. 
Uh, yeah, my duplication chance is only 50%, so I guess I shouldn't have expected much. Oh, you know what? I got a scroll of repair. As I read the scroll, it disappears. Uh, isn't that supposed to restore my sword? Oh, well, whatever. Can't say I understand what happened there. So, <laughs> buy a deck of cards and deal with the day. And I'll just go ahead and summon whatever. <laughs> I summoned an angry imp. So, oh, if you're just joining us, well, you're not just joining us. So, I mean, why am I even talking? Um, we are still playing a ninja. We're level 21 ninja named Rattlesnake. Pretty darn high level for being in the swamps, might I add. And, um, but we've been practicing a little brewing. I, I picked up an Alembic. Oh, I somehow assassinated that fool. Um, that fool, goopy slime character. Assassinated another human. You know, I mean, humans got a hum. I could use a shield. I'm gonna drop the chakram. A stack of one throwable items not terribly useful to me. And I'm drunk again, or I'm uh, hungover again. Dealing with the fallout of being a goat. Can I learn these? Oh, I can learn healing now? That's great. Okay, all right, now I know healing. That's gonna make a big difference. Well, if I was the brewer, and I was having such a hard time as the brewer, it certainly would have made a difference then. Oh, and I found some booze. Okay, our map says we have the, what looks like probably a shopkeeper and then a human remains. I only have one polymorph potion left, and I feel like I need to save that for, uh, you know, if I continue this playthrough all the way to the city, I'm going to be regretting not saving it. I ate a moldy apple without even thinking about it. It's not exactly my smartest move. Worthless glass, my favorite. Cursed, cursed stuff. That's actually my real favorite. Five steel chakrams. Okay, uh, now that I will prefer to this bow. Um, let's get rid of the bow. I mean, nothing wrong with the bow, but I got all these rocks. I got. I'm just gonna rely on throwing weapons. They're more fun to use anyway. In my humble opinion. and take out this human and then we'll be on our way out of this level. Where I come from, we kill humans. <laughs> Service of steel versus worn steel. Just making sure I couldn't pick up that other check on Oh, and here we are. Stramp. Sex change, I don't think I need that. Strangulation, probably don't need that either. Two magic resistance rings, let's throw away the cheap one. All right, we got this under control, guys. What do I hope to accomplish? 
Who killed that baby? Alright, guys. Well, I did say that if I got down to the labyrinth, I would call it. Oh, we got some tins. Uh, because I wasn't expecting this uh, stream to go all night. But, I feel like we got to show up a couple of... Show off a couple of really cool things. I got pretty pretty far with the, um, the straight-up brewer. Um, but I made a lot more progress with the... Um, the assassin, or sorry, the ninja, and then I, uh, I eventually went on to make progress as a, an amateur uh, goatman uh, ninja brewer. So, oh my gosh, Merlin. Well, sorry, Merlin. There can only be one. Um, you know, I'm just gonna save and quit. But anyway, uh, for anybody who's still watching, oh, what's up, man? I see you came to visit me from DLC 2. Let's see if I can get an achievement. Oh, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to fight me. Um, yeah, the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's all in the reflexes, baby. I got that achievement where I can catch his uh, his item as it's flying towards me. That's a sweet, sweet. Um, uh, big trouble, little shiny reference. Anyway, um, yeah, so we did some brewing, uh, we had some fun, um, but then playing as the ninja, we got to see how both the goat and the additional skill that it's gonna, that's added to the game is going to impact the play. I may like to play this a little later and finish up this playthrough, I might do that on stream, um, just for the lols, maybe sometime this weekend. Anyway, uh, love you guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you get a chance to tune in next time. Cheers, bye.